This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> That's new. I like that. <laughs> okay, so we're in Chef and we're on page 135 today. And we're going to be talking about pricing ahead of the market. Uh, seller pricing strategies for succeeding in a shifting market. And I want to be, uh, first of all, I want to just say that these rules apply, these principles apply, these strategies apply. When the market is shifting, you don't have to wait to go from a seller's market to a buyer's market for this for what we're going to talk about today to apply. It applies immediately. The moment fewer homes are being sold, we're past that, okay? The moment inventory starts to increase, we're already past that as well. Then these strategies start to apply. It becomes a skill-based market. And my goal is to help you um, Develop these skills so that you can succeed in a shifting market. Critically important. All right, let's get started. Middle of the page on page 135, Gary says, wary of pricing too much, paying too much. Wary of paying too much, buyers go too far and begin to offer too little. And only properties that appear to be serious bargains get serious attention. So you're going to be competing when you put a home on the market. You are going to be competing. Desiree, would you do me a favor? Because that's going to be super distracting. Would you close the door? They're meeting right outside our door. The moment you put your home on the market, this is, this is listing table talk. This is how I want you to talk to your sellers. You are competing for buyers. You have other properties that you are competing against. And buyers are only gonna be attracted to the properties that they see as a bargain. In other words, they're looking for the best property in the best condition at the best price. Sellers, who are slow to recognize this shift will quickly become overpriced and consequently be overlooked. So sellers who are not paying attention will quickly become overpriced and overlooked. Gary goes on to say, when the market shift, first buyers and then sellers become overly guarded and set in motion another intriguing game of the price is right. And for anybody over the age of 40, well, I guess that TV show is still on. Never mind. In this version, instead of guessing there is no top, buyers now predict there is no bottom. In other words, in the market we were in, buyers were willing to bid against one another at whatever price it took in order to buy a home. And there was no top. Now, buyers see the market as there being no bottom. In other words, you're going to start seeing offers come in below the asking price. You've already seen that. And you'll see offers come in significantly below the asking price. And this is when a script that you haven't heard from sellers, remember sellers go to script school too, a script that you're going to, you're going to hear from sellers that you haven't heard for several years you're going to hear, I'm not giving my home away. Get ready for that. I'm not giving my home away because that's their perspective. I'm asking $575,000 for my home and they offered 545, 545. Holy cow. I'm not going to give my home away. Hmm. We'll get back to that later. The truth is the market remains full of people who generally want to buy and sell. Okay, critically important point to hear because otherwise you might hear, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The market remains full of people who genuinely want to buy and sell. Which means for you, real estate agent, there is plenty of real estate transactions being done in order for you to get your unfair share. 
This is not a conversation on better go find another profession because real estate's going to bust. No, no, no. This is just a conversation on developing your skills to succeed in this market, but there's still plenty of opportunity. All right. Going over to the bottom of page 136, the very last paragraph, Gary goes on to say, in a seller's market, the power of pricing favors the sellers and buyers will compete for limited supply. True story, we live that. A shift means this power is now in favor of the buyer. Okay, remember a shift means the market has simply shifted. It has shifted from more to less. It has shifted from a lack of inventory and four, five, six, ten 10 buyers competing over every one home for sale to a market where fewer deals are being done and inventory is starting to rise. It doesn't mean that you have to wait to go from less than 30 days of inventory to six months of inventory for these rules to apply. They apply now. In a seller's market, the power of pricing favors the seller and buyers will compete for a limited supply. A shift means this power is now in favor of the buyer and that sellers will compete to attract the limited supply of buyers. All right, so let's talk about the window of opportunity. If someone is to buy their house, sellers must be aware of and buy into the concept of a window of opportunity. This phenomenon means that when a home first comes on the market, it attracts attention from those agents who are currently working with motivated buyers or those agents who are motivated by the price to find one. If any agent or their buyers believe that a house is poorly priced, it loses its opportunity and doesn't draw their attention. Basically, it gets written off from the very beginning. Once this happens, it isn't easy to get those buyers or sellers back even with a series of price reductions for home improvements. All right, let's go back to seller strip school. Two things that you're gonna hear from sellers in today's market is a buyer can always make an offer. In other words, Noah, I understand that the market's shifting. However, I still wanna price my home. I still want to price my home at 565. I hear what you're saying that 545 is the right price because it's the right strategy because it puts me in that price range between 525 and 550,000. So I'll attract the right buyer in order to get an offer, okay? However, I want to start at 565 because buyers can always make an offer. Or if I don't get an offer, I can always lower my price. Now, some real estate agents will fall back on pre-approved price reductions at the time of listing. And I want you to hear me loud and clear without anybody getting their feelings hurt. Pre-approved price reductions at the time of listing the home take second place to getting the price right today. It's worth it to hang in there and fight for the right price. And when I say fight for the right price, I mean exactly what I'm saying. I've sat at kitchen tables for an hour over $5,000. The difference between $555 and $550 could be the difference between their home selling for the most amount of money in 30 days or their home sitting and selling for considerably less in 120 days, or maybe not selling at all, fight for the right price. Even if you get a pre-approved price reduction at the time that you take the listing, and it's signed, you still have to call the seller and say, hey, Juanita, John Dietz, just reminding you that we agreed that if your home was not sold within 30 days, we were gonna lower the price to 545. And Juanita can easily say, I know, and I don't want to lower the price. You're still going to have to go to work in order to get that price reduction 30 days from now. Go ahead and get it now. It's worth the struggle. 
All right. Going over to page 138, top of the page. Your job is to get them to grasp why pricing is right. Pricing it right must happen right now. Your job is to get your seller to grasp, to understand why pricing the property right must happen, must happen, must happen right now. Critically important. They only get one chance to make a good first impression. Making the wrong impression will cost a seller time and money. Pricing houses for a successful sale is never as simple as some might think. Continually changing market conditions, continually changing market conditions, hello, that's the market you're in, and circumstances make pricing a skill as well as a science. A market shift absolutely underscores the importance of pricing and exposes cavalier agents who don't give it researched attention and serious thought. The most successful agents become masters of pricing and masterful in getting their sellers to trust the findings and act on them. They become masterful at pricing and masters at persuasion. This is where scripts matter. Mastering the conversations of real estate will be the difference between mediocrity or failure and massive success. This is why you've been hearing me say for the last several years, the market's going to eventually shift and I'm looking forward to it because advantage me, advantage you. In a skill-based market, real estate agents need agents with skill versus a hot seller's market, anybody will do. Buyers are always looking for value. Regardless of the market, they want the best property available at the lowest price. They want the best property available at the lowest price. So there's a little bit of a different strategy I want you to consider when you're sitting at the listing table. And you can draw this for your sellers sitting right at the kitchen table. Now, in a market where Lots of properties are selling and buyers are competing over the few properties that are on the market. Prices are increasing. They're increasing pretty dramatically. And this is the market that we've been in for the last three or four years, especially the last two years. And in this market where the market is hot, you price your property based on salts. Please write that down. If the last property that's most comparable to your home is 565, 575 works. 575 works because buyers will bid the price up. It also works because the market will catch up with the price. Values are increasing. If 575 is $10,000 over price today, 30 days from now, it'll be exactly the right price. Now, in a market where there are fewer sales and inventory is starting to increase, you want to base your property, the price of your property, not just on the souls. You look at those, but you're also going to look at the actives. And you're going to look at the actives. And you're going to draw it just like this. Because in order to sell your home, you have to beat the competition. Please write that down. You have to beat the competition. And if there are three properties that you're competing against immediately within your neighborhood, for example, and the asking prices are 565 equal to the last property that sold, or 570 a little bit above it, or 575 a little bit more above it, the, the strategy to get your home sold when the market is shifting is price it at 550 price below the competition in order to beat the competition. 
And what will happen is you'll sell your home in 30 days for 550 or 545 versus starting out at 565 or 575, like we said on the previous page. And then what typically happens in this situation is in 90 days, the seller says, lower my price. So they drop to 555. The problem is they've missed the best time, the window of opportunity to get their home sold. So 30 days later, they say, drop it again, 545. And then 120 days out, they say, drop it again, 525,000. And then a buyer comes in and says, I love this house. And the first question they ask their real estate agent is how long has the home been on the market? 180 days. And the next question is what's wrong with it? Realtor says nothing. The next question is, can we get a deal? Probably. And they make an offer of 500,000. And the home ends up selling for 500,000 in 180 days when it could have sold for 545 in 30 days. So I lost $45,000 trying to make an extra $30,000. Not only that, you got to take in holding cost. The difference between 30 days and 180 days is 120 days or four months. If my holding cost is $5,000 a month, I lost another $20,000 in holding costs, or I paid $20,000 not to sell my home. Now I'm sitting at the kitchen table and I'm pulling out a thinking pad. That's what Zig Ziglar used to call his legal pad. And I'm drawing pictures and I'm having these conversations. It's exactly what you need to do. Okay, talk to me. What'd you hear? What questions do you have? My suggestion to you would be watch this video. It'll be on the YouTube page, like all of the other videos. Watch this video several times and watch it before you go out on your next listing appointment because this is exactly what you need to do to succeed in this market. Carolyn. Hello.